From a market perspective, I think we were all surprised. The market certainly took umbrage when the Bank of England didn't raise rates last month. But a lot of people in the markets figured that they wouldn't put, impose an interest rate rise just before Christmas, particularly once Omicron uh, uh, Plan B uh, stipulations and, and regulations were announced by the government. What do you think it is that's made the Bank of England once again, not trick, but certainly um, uh, uh, sidestep market expectations? Well, I, th I think they've seen um, you know, the, the strength of the data, especially on the, on the jobs market and growth today that we've seen. Um, I, th I think it's given them the confidence to go ahead and um, you know, pull the trigger. Um, I, I, it also gives market watchers confidence in the, um, in the, in the strength of the economy. Um, if the Bank of England is, is prepared to, uh, to go before Christmas, then um, yeah, that, that reflects well on, on, on that, that view of, um, uh, of, of the, you know, the local the domestic economy, at least. Um, I mean, we saw a similar thing in, in the U.S. last night. The, um, uh, you know, that, that new dot plot, that, that sort of forecast for, for interest rate rises next year, uh, and the, uh, the markets responded positively. And we've seen, while we saw the FTSE 100, the FTSE 250 fall um, on the news today, um, we also see, saw some of the perhaps more vulnerable um, sectors, vulnerable stocks. House, some of the house builder stocks fell um, on the news initially. Um, one or two of the uh, the supermarkets and some other sectors, but bounced back very quickly. So well, I think there was that initial response where they thought this is bad news, but then it took some time to uh, to think again and um, have taken it more positively. Banks as, of, obviously have done it incredibly well, as, as one would expect. Lee, that's very, very interesting. I've been thinking for, for some time, for, for months and even years, in fact, despite all the doom and gloom from financial analysts, oh, if we raise rates, financial markets will collapse, yada, yada, yada. I've written many times that actually if you raise rates, Wise heads in financial markets will think, ah, oh, this is the beginning of the end of a mad period. We're mm. beginning the long trek back to normality, pre-2008 normality. What you're saying to me, and you, you know, you've forgotten more about financial markets these days than I'll ever know. But what you're saying is that there are investors in the markets who are thinking, actually, if we're raising rates and the Bank of England's raising rates, it might mean that they really believe the economy is in a better place. It's stronger. So it's a psychological uh, uh, switch for, for, for all of us, really. Yeah, I mean, the, the, we, we've gone through perhaps one of the biggest shocks that any stock market could experience. I mean, obviously, we had the, had the great, great Depression in the 30s, but, but this, the, the pandemic uh, no one could have forecast that, and the impact was significant. And what we saw was the government step in and bail the economy out, bail out uh, vulnerable sectors and, and bail out the uh, 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 taxpayers. It is those taxpayers who will eventually pay the, um, pay the bill. Um, but, but, yeah, it, it's the, the markets and, and, and many companies, although they were hit severely uh, in the immediate aftermath, have, have recovered very strongly. And now we're seeing some of the major indices uh, in the UK, which was had lagged international peers. The uh, domestic indices are now back to uh, roughly where they were um, pre the pandemic. So, um, yeah, I, I don't think anyone's forecasting inter interest rates back up at 6%, 7%, that, that sort of figure. And no one anticipates, a, uh, as I said earlier, a prolonged interest rate hike cycle. Um, you know, perhaps, perhaps two or three, uh, um, no more than that, and perhaps then a a pause and uh, and, and see uh, see where we are. The economy does remain vulnerable, though, to uh, to the uh, um, you know, the pandemic and, and various um, variants, which uh, which is yet unknown, which which could um, could derail the, um, the recovery.